Hello! It's been a while. It's been a while. I've been very busy lately um, with, with, with school, with, with the classes and everything. And this week is actually the exam week. It's the final exams in, in UNOR. And then also it's the end of the semester, of the first semester in post-grad school. So that explains why I've been very, very busy. Plus, I, I, there are a lot of exciting things that, uh, that, that are going to happen in YAS. Um, I've, I've been busy um, preparing for it and I continue to pray that it's going to go smoothly. But it's really going to be fun. I, I can't tell it to you now. I don't want to preempt um, anything that's really nice and good. But, but this one, I think it, it would, it, it's, it's now safe for me to share this one. I'm working on a very mega project with a mega company um, um, that's all about um, promoting and, and making sure that Bacolod City is as progressive as it should be. And, and we're, we're, we're lining up um, episodes in Yas that will actually show you and showcase um, the, all the beautiful developments that, that have been happening in, in different parts of Bacolod City, in strategic parts of the City of Smiles. I've, I've shot already in two um, project sites and you know, it's, it's, it's more than beautiful, I tell you. I, I can't wait to show you the videos. I can't wait to present to you. I mean, for the first time, I'll take you there. I'll show you around, even if it's not yet um, that um, open to the public. But but I'm going to give you the very first glimpse of, of everything that's inside and, and all the developments and improvements that, that are happening, that have been undertaken, so that everybody's, you know, going to be, um, how do you call it, um, well, when we see improvements, when we see developments, it, it, it's inspiring and it also makes you proud as a, as a Bacolenio, as a Negrense, um, What else? I, I, I also, um, um, I was also able to talk to um, the inventor of the Think Game. The Think Game was invented in 1974 pa. And, and soon I'm gonna shoot an episode about the Think Game and then we'll let the inventor explain to us what the mechanics are and then what is the purpose. The purpose is laudable. The purpose is to be able to encourage the youth, especially now that there's a pandemic where almost all of us, or if not majority of us, um, especially you know, the, the, the young, are, are just stay inside the homes. Um, and then plus the digital age has, you know, made the young or the youth so distracted now they're also into mobile gaming everything online etc but even me as a teacher i've observed that um there are very few students of mine that that love reading love to read books i mean the traditional way of reading books not the e-books right? but but the books the, the 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 real book the ones that you you, you can actually feel the pages, you can smell the pages, diba? you can feel every single page that you turn as you, as you enjoy reading a novel or an essay or any work of fiction or maybe um, um, anything that is also factual that is in books, diba? the printed books, the printed books. So um, uh, the inventor wants to again revive this because it's been there. Um, even before I was born, uh, but but um, after some time, uh, because of lack of support, they were not able to sustain the campaign. But they've actually, um, would you believe that they've actually already held tournaments in different schools, universities, and colleges in Bacolod City. Tournament on the Think Game. It's a Think Game tournament. So it stimulates the mind. It makes um, those who are playing it um, think, right? think, um, Analyze. It sharpens your analytical skills. It's, it's what it's what we need. It's what students know. It's what the young generation now needs to, to be to sharpen their minds, to improve, develop their critical and analytical skills. So I can't wait to do that shoot. But well, you can see now I, I'm showing you photos, old photos of 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 the tournaments that were conducted. And, and this group, the inventor in his group, um, they're actually going around, they're talking to officials, they're meeting with people who can help them 
promote and integrate the thing game into um, the system okay well they, they, they're actually meeting people they're getting support from sectors so that they can actually integrate the thing game in the education system so so hopefully hopefully it's gonna gain the, the support the necessary support that it needs what else um i hope i hope your, your week is fine i hope you're all in good health and uh, i hope that you've got a lot of um plans on how to like be better. Also, um, there are a lot of episodes pa lined up for uploading. Uh, I'm, I'm currently editing one. Um, we'll go to the Paris of Negros and we'll revisit. Okay? We'll revisit how Piaya. Piaya? Are you familiar with Piaya? Diba? Everybody who comes to Bacolod, who comes to Negros Occidental, never misses to bring Piaya or eat Piaya here or take Piaya to their families or to their friends when they go back after a vacation in Negros Occidental. Diba? So we're going to the Paris of Negros and I was able to locate this place okay, in a barangay in Silay. Where? Where? Um, traditional handmade piyaya started so i'm gonna show you around let's see how 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 they're doing it and then i also ask them to share with me um their experiences during the pandemic how it has affected the business this very uh, small business um and the family that started it and then also how it affected the workers and then well in kamusta natin sila how they are now since amat-amat diba gradually uh, um, people are able to go out people are able to go back to work um, unlike during the very first uh, implementation of the enhanced uh, enhanced community parent because of of the pandemic and of course guys don't forget ha um well, we're all trying to have a semblance of normalcy now, but please, again, when you are out, just, just be very conscious of the protocols. Don't go out of your homes if you don't have your mask with you. Just like this, I have my mask. I just stopped. Ah, well, I took it off. I, look at that. It's a pairing mask. See? <laughs> and by the way, my shirt, my shirt and my pairing mask, if you've noticed, I've, I've been... I've been wearing um, really cute shirts uh, with a uh, pairing masks in, in, in the past few days, right? Um, this is beautifully done by Sugar High, okay? Um, if you're interested in Sugar High, you message me. I'll tell you about them. They really, they really make really nice shirts and the quality of the fabric is really, really good. Really good. It's, it's very nice. Anyway, so look at that. Anyway, where am I? Wear your mask. Don't, never leave the house without your mask. And always mask on, okay? Unless you're eating. Unless you're eating and... Well, I, I have to take it off because I'm drinking. I'm in Macau. Hello. Long time no see. <laughs> so, I took it off. And then, don't forget your face shield, okay? Face shield. See? And also, very important, when you're in public, always, always be... Okay, distant from the other person. Okay, um, two feet, three feet, physical distancing. It doesn't just save you, keep you safe, but it also keeps the ones around you safe. Okay, let's let's be very very careful. Let's be very very cautious because it's very important now, diba? It's it's cliche ko naman the saying health is wealth, but it's very true now. So let's be very very um, strict in in complying with the minimum health protocol so so i hope everybody's doing okay I, by the way before i go i'd like to tell everybody that our favorite chocolate store remember the one in hilado babby's chocolates okay babby's chocolates is transferring to a new location it's bigger and better so that they can better serve you okay so you can see now the poster on the screen you can read that that's the new location of babies effective march 4. so if you need to go to babies for your favorite imported chocolates for your milk tea ingredients for your baking essentials and of course for their very beautiful and affordable chocolate bouquets and food arrangements please don't forget that effective march 4 they're in their move well they'll be in a different 
location, in a new location, just there. So what else? And I'd like to thank, of course, um, Miss Pao and Flower Pao team. Thank you for my congratulatory flowers. Again, um, thank you for spoiling me. They gave me um, some flowers when, when I posted um, a, a thank you, when I did a thank you post, a gratitude post on on my FB, on my FB page and my personal account and my Instagram account. Um, thanking all my subscribers my on YouTube and my followers on IG, TikTok, Twitter, and what else? Um, IGTV uh, for, for, for the support that they've given me from the very first well, episode vlog that I've posted in October, I remember it was it was a tour. It was a cut flower farm tour, okay? In in, in flower power in DSB. Um in October last year when I started um, doing the lifestyle vlog. Thank you everybody for, for the support, for the messages, and for loving uh, the episodes that I've been uploading, for telling me that you're enjoying my content. Um it, it, you continue to motivate and inspire me to do to keep on go, doing what I'm doing and to come up with even more interesting, inspiring, and motivating and uplifting features for all of you. Actually, I learn a lot from from all these features and the shoots that I've been doing. And I can't wait. I'm gonna do more. Just wait. Just wait. Um, I, I, I well, I told you a while ago. A lot of exciting things are gonna happen. Um, actually. Uh, I'm so excited. My mind doesn't stop working. I've been, you know, doing brainstorming alone, thinking about, I mean, content, etc. What I'm gonna do to, to provide you with at least, no, if you can't leave your homes, at least, maupun ka mo sa kalagaw ko, di ba, sa adventures ko, virtually, I can show you around um, what's beautiful in, in this island without you having to spend money, go out, di ba? So, bisandra na lang. Bisandra na. I can continue what I love to do with this, which is telling stories, communicating to people, and, and bringing them stories that, that can actually have an impact on their lives. Bisan gamay lang. At least makayuhong ka mo, makakadlaw ka mo, makakita mo sa nami. And you can also get really nice ideas from, from, from the episodes that you are able to see through yes and of course for those who haven't subscribed to my youtube channel uh, yet please do so please go to youtube um, or maybe you can visit my facebook page my ig and then you can just click the link check out the content and um and see for yourself um what is there and i hope while you're watching and enjoying the videos um you can click like and you can hit subscribe and i really appreciate it that you are also sharing links to my vlog salamat kid i mean you don't know how happy i am and how thankful i am salamat kid. thank you very much may god bless you abundantly and, and and i hope to hear from you through your comments and maybe you can suggest to me um if there are places there that are interesting in your specific towns or cities why don't you message me huh um, I'll try to check it out and I'll feature it. If I find it really, really nice, divide it's worth um, sharing, sharing to, to the rest of the world. Madam, let's just, just all be healthy. Okay, let's all be healthy. Let's all think of ways on how to make our lives um, better despite the hardships that we're facing, diba? every now and then the challenge is because of the pandemic. There's there's always hope, diba? And despite all the problems that we're facing and the trials, um, life is still beautiful, diba? And we shall always, let us always say, yes, love.